Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Ms. Haskins. How are you? Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Prayer. Uh, This is what we do every morning, Monday through Friday. Uh, We come on here as a group of believers. God has given us our small, our own little small community to lift one another up and pray with one another. Our prayer each morning is that the Lord's will would be done in your life and that his power, his anointing, his favor, his love is manifested in your life. We understand that we cannot get through life on our own. Everyone is struggling with something. Everyone is dealing with something. Uh, You keep living, you're going to have something going in your life. There's either something mental going on, emotional, physical, financial, something in your marriage. And all we want to do is group our prayers together, talk to the Lord on behalf of each other, and get our prayers answered. The Bible says where two or three are gathered together in his name, not only is he in the midst, he will answer prayers according to his will. The Bible says that the fervent prayer of a righteous person has a lot of power. I understand my rank in the Lord. I understand my gifts in the spirit. And the Bible says when we can combine those gifts in the spirit, it's like putting an all-star team on the court. You're going to win. You're going to score. And so we have believers on here who have the the gifts of miracles, the gifts of faith. We have people on here with the gifts of healing. I I have some of those gifts. My wife has some of those gifts, and we just want to pray. Here's how this works. You put your prayer request in the chat. There's no religion here. There's no denomination. I'm not affiliated with anyone. I'm affiliated with Jesus Christ. I believe in the word of the Lord. And if you believe according to your faith, it'll happen. I'm going to read a scripture, and then we're going to get right into our prayers. We have right at an hour, maybe right at 53 minutes, and we're going to get to everyone's prayer today. In Acts chapter 4, they were being harassed, the the disciples, after the, the, the Lord had left them. And it says this, For Herod the king and Pilate, the governor, and all the Romans, as well as the people of Israel, are united against Jesus. Your anointed son, your holy servant. They won't stop at anything that you, in your wise power, will let them do. And now, O Lord, hear their threats and grant to your servants great boldness in their preaching. And send your healing power and many miracles and wonders be done by the name of your holy servant, Jesus. And after this prayer the building where they were meeting shook and they were all filled with the holy spirit and boldly preached god's message that was a simple prayer and the power of the lord came over them here's what we know happened since then jesus has sent his holy spirit to anyone all of us who believe everyone who believes that jesus was the messiah believe that Jesus walked the earth, believe that he was God, believe that he was resurrected, you have his spirit. And you have rank in the spirit realm. And you have authority to tell a, tell a devil to stop. Get off your porch. Quit messing with you and your family. So our prayer today is that as you put your prayer request in the chat, that all of us understand where we, where we are. We can tell the devils to stop. And according to your faith, we believe that mountains can move. Father, we thank you this morning for your word. We thank you for another opportunity. We thank you for your spirit living on the inside of us. We thank you for the gifts of the spirit you've given us. And we ask this morning that you would just move. 
Lord, shake the buildings of our lives. Shake the, the buildings of our hearts. Lord, shake the, the, the foundations of, of what we think we are and who we are and what we believe. And may we be bold to walk in your love, walk in your goodness. Lord, may we be bold to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and lay hands on the sick and, and let captives free. Father, I pray this morning you give me a discerning spirit. Allow your, your gifts of the spirit, which is what we preached on last night, to flow in this meeting. In Jesus' name, we pray it and we believe it. Hallelujah. That's amazing, Miss Haskins. She says she spent all day with the Lord yesterday. Good morning, Barbara. Bridget, good morning to you. God bless you. China, good morning. Lydia, good morning. Hallelujah. Crystal Barnes, good morning. Hallelujah. Tam, 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 good morning to you. Hallelujah. All right. She says she's from Orlando. That's amazing. All right, we'll start with Crystal's prayer. And I want to pray for Crystal. Uh, and then let's just kind of get some, I'm going to do things a little bit slightly different because of our, our time period. Everyone who has an issue with their marriage, put your name in the chat or just say it's me, my marriage. So I can identify it. I can screenshot it. And we're going to pray for all marriages at this time. So I have Crystal Barnes, her marriage. Anyone else? I'm just going to scroll down and scroll back up. Marriages. Who, who's being challenged in their marriage? Who's dealing with a marriage that's tough? Who, who just needs prayer for their marriage? And, and I won't go, you know, you don't have to go into detail. Just put it in the chat. Jeremy. Sam. Lydia. Who else? We're here for you today. Top 10. Who else? Yes, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Come on. I've got top 10. Jeremy Mott. connection here praise the lord praise the lord i got lydia major miss haskins daughter joanne top 10 jeremy crystal sam father we come lifting up every marriage right now before you every marriage father right now uh, who who's struggling? Who's in pain? Who has some frustration? There's some some issues, some challenges, some trials. Lord, the, the marriage isn't on the the road that they thought it would be on, Father. And so we are asking this morning in the name of Yeshua for your help, for your deliverance, for your power, for your anointing to step in and be available for these marriages. Father, I come against a spirit. Come on, you got to pray this with me. So you agree as I pray. You say, yes, Lord, I agree with that. I bind that spirit. We come against a spirit of divorce. I bind that spirit. We come against a spirit of separation. I bind that spirit. I stand against it. I cancel it out. I come against a spirit of bitterness and unforgiveness and hostility. I come against a spirit of animosity and contention and revenge and strife. I come against arguing and fighting over little things, things that make no sense. Why are we arguing over that? Father, I come against and bind the spirit of guilt and shame and mental and emotional abuse. I come against physical abuse. I come against financial abuse, holding the funds back and being mean and deliberate and intentional in how they treat the other spouse. I bind that spirit this morning. You can't stick around. I won't put up with it. We have too much authority in Christ this morning to stand for any of that. And so we bind you. We lift up every marriage before you, Lord. We lift up Sam. We lift up Lydia. We lift up Joanne and top 10, Jeremy and Crystal to you, Father. We ask that you would please have some mercy. 
Lord, we ask that you manifest your love into the relationships and your grace and your your compassion. Father, we, we speak great communication into these marriages and patience. Your love is patient. Father, I speak a kindness towards one another in civil union. Just can we get along? Can we exist in the same room without arguing in Jesus' name? In Jesus' name, devil, did you hear me? Every name I just mentioned, every marriage represented, we bind you. Is there any other marriages that I need to write on my list? I got Crystal's marriage, Jeremy Mott's marriage, top 10, Joanne's, uh, Miss Haskins' daughter, Lydia and Sam. Any other marriages that I need to put on my list here? Because we continue to pray for you otherwise. Hallelujah. I got Cheetah, Sunshine, Vaughn. Hallelujah. Father, we, we believe. I'm going to call these names out before you. You know who they are. Joel and future wife. That's amazing. Joel is believing by faith in the future. Shirley and Wayne. Father, look at all the marriages that need your intervention. Father, we know we cannot fix our own issues. We cannot solve our own problems. We can't even sit in a room together without your power, Father. We pray for our spouses. We pray for Shirley and Wayne and Joel and his future wife, Fawn, Sonny, and Miss Cheetah. I believe by faith, Lord, that that spirit of separation and divorce will not exist and will not be brought up. We come against, again, every prideful spirit, every arrogant spirit, every spirit that's not of you, every spirit that cast itself against you, Father, we cast it down. We come against unbelief and arrogance and haltiness and loftiness. I come against a spirit of vanity and scorn. I come against sarcasm, sarcasm and meanness and harshness. I come against cruelty. I bind that selfish spirit in the name of Yeshua and we speak love. Oh, his Holy Spirit love, his, his manifesting resurrection power love, the love that said I will get up and rise again because I love the world so much. Father, manifest love. Father, every spouse that's represented this morning who where the other spouse may not be where they need to be in Christ may not be where they need to be in the marriage father we ask that you would send your holy spirit to speak to them yeah yeah holy spirit speak to them through friends through through loved ones through youtube or tiktok videos lord speak to them however you want lord speak to them through visions and dreams holy spirit have some mercy move in their lives turn their hearts in Jesus name come on believe that with me in Jesus name listen for every person represented here today I've said this before and I'll continue to say it pray over your spouse if they're available I know some spouses have already separated they're not with you you still pray in the spirit what you bind on earth is bound in the spirit realm is bound in heaven what you loose on earth is loosed in the spirit realm you have to believe by faith that when you pray things are happening I'm asking you that when he sleep, when she sleep, just slightly put your hand on their, their shoulder, touch foots with them, and you pray. You pray for their unconscious state. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, where the spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Hallelujah. And you pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, my spouse is right here with me. I bind every spirit. This is spiritual warfare. It's not your husband you're upset with. It's not your wife you're upset with. For we not for we do not fight against flesh and blood. We fight against fallen angels and spirits. All those spirits I just named, that's who you're fighting. Bitterness and hatred and jealousy and envy. You tell that spirit to leave your house. Don't you come step another foot trespassing to my house again. And then you have to replace that evil with God's goodness, love, mercy, grace, whatever you want your husband to be more of, you speak it into his spirit. I speak kindness. I speak kindness. I speak the Lord's kindness into your spirit. I speak kindness into your spirit. You say it over and over. I speak kindness. 
I speak kindness. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Yes, he's a resurrector, Crystal. We know he is. We're just waiting now. We're waiting on the manifestation. Cheetah said 18 years. In Jesus' name. Lord, thank you. Here's what we're going to do real quick, and then we're going to go to the next set of prayers. Lord, every marriage that we just prayed for, we're going to thank you in advance. We do this every morning. We thank you in advance for healing. We thank you for resurrecting marriages. We thank you for restoring marriages. Lord, we thank you for hitting the reset button in marriages. Lord, I thank you in advance for testimonies we'll receive. How, how they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony, Father. We, we, we thank you in advance for not letting it go through all the way to divorce and separation. We thank you in advance for turning his heart around, turning her heart around. We thank you in advance for no more arguing and fighting over small things. We thank you in advance for date nights and romantic nights. We thank you in advance, Lord, for civil conversations. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe it. Listen, just start thinking them in your own way. Hallelujah. All right, I'm going to go back up to the top. We are at, uh, I think, Miss Gracie. Gracie said, can you pray for my son before it's too late? Uh, before it's too late. Let's do this. If you have a son or a daughter who needs Jesus, they're, they're struggling in a way that you know only God can help them. You have a child that you've been on your knees praying for and you just, you want additional support. That's what we're here for. The Bible says where two or three are gathered together to in his name, he hears us. And because they're our children, there's a connection there that the Lord answers and hears. He's still, it's still up to that individual. It's still up to that individual, that adult, even that child who's 15 or 16, to, to accept Christ, to follow Christ, to lean into Christ. But our prayers help clear the air, so to speak. We can bind some devils in their lives so they can hear the spirit of the Lord more clearly. So if you have a son or a daughter that's in need of prayer, I just need you to put their name in the chat or just say, my son, my daughter. Please pray for my son, my daughter. I have Heather Garcia. She said her son, Johnny, obsessing over germs, OCD, stress, and anxiety. Okay, who else? Who else are we praying for? Haskins says, continue to pray for Charles. He is acting out again, destroying things. That's a spirit. We're going to bind that spirit. Mary Ellen says for Cammy. Hallelujah. Come on, if you have a son or a daughter that needs prayer, Lydia, give me their names. I'll write them down. I'll screenshot them. Come on. We're going to, you have a group of believers here who will pray with you. Barbara Booker said, Chandler. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my son is on here. He said his sister, Cashel. Mike Jr. said Zara and Elijah. We're going to pray over our children and believe that the Lord is in control. Yvette said, Yvette Stevenson said, Crystal, Mocha, Chervelle, and Ricky. Philippa said, Cedre, Emmanuel, and Deontay. Latanya Jackson said James, Antoine, Antonio, AC, Asia, Malcolm, and Malik. Hallelujah. Who else? Who else? I'm screenshotting. I'm taking names down. And when I pray here in a moment, you just agree. You believe it in your spirit that what we're praying for is going to happen. 
You, you believe by faith that God is in control? I see Fawn, I see your, your request for your, your daughter Noah. Hallelujah. Anyone else, son or daughter, Gracie started this by saying, pray for my son. All of us have some children, some things to, to pray over, to pray for. You may come with the rank of God that you've given us. We have rank over demons. We have rank over devils. We, we have every right to tell a devil to chill, to stop, to be dismissed. And Father, we believe by faith, Lord, that you have given us these children to be there for them. We're their number one fan. We're their number one support, Lord. And so every child represented here today, and I'm taking names, I'm, I'm doing screenshots because I will pray and continue to pray. Every name represented today, Lord, I'm asking you and believing by faith for you to move in those children's life. I don't care if the child is one month old or they're 41 years old. Lord, by faith, we pray over children and grandchildren this morning asking it one, you have some mercy. Have some mercy, as Gracie mentioned, Lord, before it's too late, have some mercy. Allow your grace to continue in their lives. Father, I'm asking that you don't give up on them. I'm asking, Lord, that you don't turn them to reprobate. I'm asking, Lord, that they don't go too far prodigal, that, this, that they can't come back. I come against spirits of addiction. I come against spirits of rebellion. I come against the spirit of disobedience in all of these children's lives. Lord, we call them out before you, James, Antoine, Antonio, AC, Asia, Malcolm, Malik, Lauren. Father, I call out Cedric before you. I call out before you, Crystal and Mocha and Shravel, Ricky. I, I, I call out all five of Lydia's kids, Lord. We call them out before you this morning, Lord. Zara and Elijah and my own daughter and son, Kim and Cashel, Chandler. We call out Cammy before you, Lord, and Charles. And here's what we're asking for Johnny, Noah, that you grant them favor and success. Yes, come on, say that with me. Lord, grant our children favor and success. Lord, grant them success over the enemy's tactics. Grant them success, Lord, over the battles and the wars that the devil has set before them. Lord, grant them success and favor over spirits of anger and frustration. I come against a spirit of anxiety and depression over every last one of your children right now. Listen, that's a spirit that we can take control of. We can grab it by the neck and tell it to leave. Yeah, I don't care what's flying outside around your house right now. Some bees, some wasps, some, some dragonflies. I don't... You leave our children and you go into those flies. You go into those dragonflies. You go into the bees. You go into the geese that are flying by. Yeah, I have that same power. That, that Jesus expelled that those thousands of spirits and they went into a pig, pigs, and fled. I speak that right now. I don't know what's in your home. I don't know what's flying around your home. But I release your child in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You have to believe it with me. You have to believe that your son and your daughter is being free in this moment of anxiety, of fear, of frustration hostility that child who's acting out you said i have a child who's starting to act out again and be violent i come against the spirit of violence i come against parent abuse yeah i, I bind that spirit of hostility and anxiety i find that spirit of contention and rage revenge i bind that bitter spirit i bind a spirit of abuse do you hear me you evil spirits <laughs> i have control over you and in this moment you are the exit. You are the exit. You spirit of disobedience and rebellion and addiction. Addiction to alcohol and weed and pills and these other things that are not natural. I, I bind you. We bind you. Come on. Speak over your sons. Speak over your daughters. Say, I bind you. I cancel the assignment on my daughter's life. I cancel the assignment over my son's life. You will not stick around anxiety. You will not stick around addiction. You will not stick around you sexually moral spirit. You spirit that just loose and going here and there. You will not continue with my son or my daughter. 
in Jesus name and now we're gonna we're gonna replace all the evil spirits with good things of God and we speak into our sons and daughters life and you speak it as you see fit according to what you know your son and daughter needs we speak into their lives the love of God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish and will have everlasting life we speak the joy of God into their lives for the joy of the Lord is their strength we, we speak the faith and the belief of God and the hope of God into their lives for we can do all things your children our children can do all things through Christ that strengthens them we, we speak the resurrection power of God into their lives everything that was broken everything that was was that was set apart everything that's painful father resurrect it heal it heal it heal the brokenness heal the pain heal the frustration I speak a healing power of God to rest on your child right now yes in Jesus name I speak the faith of God over your child they will believe they will have hope they will not give up they will see a better tomorrow they will because the spirit of the Lord is moving in their hearts it's not by might it's not by power but by my spirit says the Lord Holy Spirit of God right now while they're free right now while there's no distraction of the, of the evil in their lives move on their hearts yeah, yeah. Move, move on their minds remove the scales from their eyes Lord may they draw themselves closer to you in the name of Yeshua 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 over their lives every child in school right now we believe by faith Lord that they're going to do well come on now we're speaking out by faith we believe by faith that every last one of our children are going to do great in class today they're going to do great in class this week we believe by faith Lord that they're going to do well on assignments and tests and quizzes and reports we believe that they're going to pay attention in class we believe that they're going to be able to retain knowledge we come against a spirit of bullying we come against meanness from teachers and professors and we speak love because love covers a multitude of things it covers sins it covers anxiety it covers fears it covers bad grades it covers bad study habits in jesus name in jesus name all right i got you miss lydia she said santos letty jocelyn juan and santos ferreira in jesus name a screenshot lord we thank you Come on, let's do it. Let's thank him. Start thanking him for what he's, gonna, what he's going to do and what he's already doing in your kids' life. Lord, I thank you for saving our kids. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for giving us an outlet. I thank you for putting a body of believers together who, who trust and believe with one another that you are in full control. We thank you, Lord, for saving our kids from all their fears, all their anxieties, all their depressions, all their hurts. Well, we thank you in advance, Lord, for bringing all of our children out of this thing. I just believe it. I'm anticipating it. I'm expecting miracles. Lord, I'm expecting and anticipating some messages from the saints of God that say, you prayed for my son, you prayed for my daughter, and they had a wonderful day in the Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. And if you had a granddaughter or a grandson or a niece or nephew that you wanted to include in all of that, the Lord heard your prayer. The Lord heard you. Hallelujah. Latanya, I'm screenshotting it. I got it. She said, please, all my grandchildren, Nasir, ZK, Isabel, uh, Lily, Ace, Azir, Melanie, Ayana, Anik, Kalk, and little mama. God bless you and all your grandchildren. I know you are a loving grandmother because you are praying for those grandbabies. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Carmen said, my daughter's family having medical issues with her back. Okay, let's let's transition. And if you had a child that, that I did not get to, just put it in the chat. I will screenshot it and get to it. And I'll make sure I write it down. But trust me, the prayer we just prayed covers your your babies whether i call their name out or not because the lord heard me all right let's let's go down the medical path again i'm, I'm trying to do things a little differently to get us some time back because we have only an hour if you're dealing with something medical 
some something physical in your body, emotionally in your body, mentally in your body, in your heart, your mental is that center, that heart, that part of you that, that we call them butterflies or we call it anxiety. But if you have something going on in your life or you want to intercede for someone who's dealing with something physical or medical, please put their names in the chat at this time. Please put their names in the chat at this time. If you've already set it up above, I'd ask that you re, re, uh, retype it, put it back in here uh, so I can see it again. Shirley, I, I got your prayer. I see it. I screenshot it out for your grandchildren. Angel and Kentavious. What a what an awesome name, Kentavious. Uh, and for my son who has PTSD in Jesus' name, covered. Shirley covered. Start thanking the Lord for healing. Duvan says, Zayton, Zayana, and Xavier. I see what you did there. That's amazing. And your daughter Brianna and her children. That, that, that was awesome. If you have something medical and you don't have to give us all the detail, that's between you and the Lord. If you want me to call out uh, the particular disease, infirmity, or sickness, we're getting ready to bind the devil. We're getting ready to speak miracles and healing. I got TT, kidneys and high blood pressure. Lord have mercy. Ruth said angels and addict. Have mercy, Lord. Heather said Joe's neck and back. Jesus name I need the saints to be praying I, you can already start praying don't wait on my prayer you know how I'm going to pray it you got guys that have been with me for a while you, you know exactly what we're getting ready to bind and how we pray against sickness and disease but you can start praying as I write some of these now Carmen said please pray for Shanice Carmen is there a specific uh, sickness that Shanice and Shay are going through who else? Who else has a an infirmity, a disease, a sickness? It could be physical. It could be emotional. It could be mental. Mary Lou, I have I, I have you. Thank you. She said, Laura and Emilio for cancer. Oh, I buy in that spirit. Nope. Mary Ellen said for her friend Paula going through chemo in Jesus name we have our own sister Stephanie don't forget about sister Stephanie she's been with us uh, from the beginning she's dealing with with some cancer and going through different tests and diagnosis Yvette said I think I got you Yvette let me make sure I have you here Yvette high blood pressure and kidneys in Jesus name Re Renee fibromyalgia depression devil I bind you chronic fatigue who else let me keep scrolling here Fawn said my vocal cords devil you're going to lay your hands off upper respiratory have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Carmen said back pain and scoliosis. I'm screenshotting and I'm writing. You go on our prayer list. We continue to pray for you outside of just today. We believe that prayer is something that you continue. We believe that the Bible says you keep asking, you keep knocking, you keep seeking. You keep asking, you keep knocking, you keep seeking. Where am I? Heather Garcia, varicose veins. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Shirley, Shirley Landry, I acknowledge your prayer requests. Screenshot, she said, diabetes, devil you a lot. Asthma, I cancel you three back surgeries 
I speak the gift of healing over your life. A shoulder surgery coming up on this on the tenth. In Jesus name, Renee said Zach has stomach issues. Lord, I need you to fix that. Come on, any others? Naisha, I hope I said your name right, sis. Naisha, iron and vitamin D. Father, I come right now in the name of Jesus asking for some mercy and some grace. Father, please have mercy and grace. Just like the blind man who was on the side of the road and he knew you were coming. He said, son of David, he cried out. He cried out with a loud voice. He cried, he cried out over the crowd. Son of David, have mercy. And Jesus approached that man and said, what do you need? Jesus already knew what his issue was. Jesus already knew he was blind, but he asked him, what is it that you want? Father, I I just want to see. And he said, according to your faith, let it be done. Father, we come believing this morning by our faith that you can heal us. You will heal us. You have the ability to heal us. Healing is your middle name. You're Rafa. You are our healer. Father, I'm asking you this morning for every prayer request, every person in pain. Big B, I see that prayer request. I'm screenshotting. Everyone who's in constant pain, dealing with an ailment. I didn't know that, Brian. I'm asking you for some mercy. Come on, everyone, everyone. That's our first request as we pray for healing. It's mercy. Father, have mercy. Say it out loud. Say it with your own spirit. Those that are hurting emotionally, mentally, physically, Lord. Those who are going through, oh my gosh, all of this pain. People's high blood pressure and kidney issues, Lord. And back pain. Cancer. Upper respiratory issues. Vocal issues. Lord, you know everybody's issue right now. And I speak the power of God into their situation yeah yeah i i I speak healing i speak a resurrection power to organs and livers and lungs and hearts and colons I, i speak the healing resurrection power to arteries and veins and blood cells i speak the healing anointing power right now receive it into every muscle all tissues Every blood cell, you will come into alignment with the word of God. Every organ, you will come into an alignment with the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord said, by his stripes we're healed. We can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. We can look at a mountain, tell it to get up and leave. You said, Father, that no weapon formed against us would prosper. You said that we were the head and not the tail. You said, you know, the plans you have for us, plans to prosper us. Not to hurt us, not for us to be in pain, not for us to be in in misery, but to give us a hope and a future. Father, I speak a hope and a future right now over everybody who's dealing with something physically, emotionally, and mentally. Devil, you are a lie. Come against issues with varicose veins. I pray for everyone who's going through chemo right now and having a cancer issue. I speak to cancer cells. Yeah, I have authority over cancer cells. You have authority over cancer cells. Come on, let's bind our power. Let's put our powers together. The supernatural powers of God. Oh, it's bigger than anything Marvel can do. It's bigger than anything DC can do. And we put our powers together and we tell cancer, stop. Come on, say it with me. Stop. Every cancer cell in Stacy's body, every cancer cell in Paula and Lauren's body, every cancer cell in... Uh, looking at the names here miss mary lou called it out you stop you stop you you cannot metastasize you cannot grow father we speak improvements in health over the immune system that gets attacked when chemo is is presented lord strengthen the immune systems father you are the one that's in full control strengthen in jesus name i come against the spirit of death I come against infirmity. I come against disease. I come against all matter of sickness and ailments. I come against that. It will not end 
the way that the devil wants it to end. In Jesus' name. Come on, say that with me. Say it out loud in your spirit. My sickness will not end the way that the devil intended it for it to end. For, for what he meant for evil, God is going to turn it around for good. Say that. Believe that. What he meant for evil, God is going to turn it around for good. Every muscle hurting in your body, every headache, every migraine, every stomach issue, I call it out in the name of Yahshua. I speak against addiction because that's a disease. That's a sickness. Father, everyone who has a spirit of addiction right now, addicted to sugar, addicted to drugs, alcohol, addicted to wine, cannot go a day without a glass of wine, addicted to weed, addicted to prescription drugs, illegal drugs, street drugs. You spirit of addiction, how dare you come into our meeting this morning? I see you. And I, buy, I take authority over you. I have authority over you. I cancel you. I come against a spirit of addiction, dependency. I come against sorcery. Yeah, putting those drinks together is a, is a form of sorcery. You spirit of witchcraft. You spirit of idolatry. You spirit of hexes and incantations. You spirit of spells and voodoo. I bind you in the name of Yeshua. I cancel you out. I see you in the spirit. You spirit of dependency. Some of you addicted to caffeine cannot go a day without coffee. I bind the need of something greater than God. Father, I come against these spirits, these cravings, the curiosity of it all, the appetite of it all. Lord, I come against it. I stand against it. You spirit of aroma, you spirit of taste. Leave, leave, because we just start smelling it and it won't even be around. We start craving it and it's not even around us. I bind that. Lord, restructure chemicals in the brain, restructure neurons and pathways. Lord, may they wake up one morning and not even want it anymore. In Jesus' name. Come on. And now we speak vibrant health. We speak, we speak stability. We, we speak a discipline in Christ Jesus. We speak the love of God. We speak the power of God. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. He's not given us a spirit of addiction. He's not given us a spirit of dependency. He's not given us a spirit of anxiety. He's not given us a spirit of hurt and pain. He's not given us any of that evil. But he's given us love. I speak the love of God in your life right now. Oh, I pray that the love of God right now just overwhelms you and fills you with the goodness of who he is. He loves you. He's not mad at you. He's not punishing you. What you're going through has nothing to do with your past. Has nothing to do with your present. Yeah, someone wants to, needs to hear this because the devil is trying to trick you to think that your illness, your situation, your addiction is God's punishment on you. And that's not the kind of God we serve. Yeah, the, the devil tried to trick us with the way that our parents raised us and maybe spanked us and whooped us and beat us to think that that's what parenting looks like. And that's not who God is. He said, I love you. I want the best for you. I'm here for you. I'm not punishing you. So then why am I sick? Why am I going through what I'm going through? Because we live in an evil world. But who the son says free is free indeed. He said, you will have trials. You will have situations. You're going to have challenges. But be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Because I've already won. You're more than a conqueror. You've won here on earth and you won in heaven. In Jesus' name. And so you evil spirits, we take authority over you. We bind you and you can't win. And now we're just going to walk it out by faith. We're going to believe by faith that every day I'm getting better. Every day I'm progressing. I may not see it right now, may not see it tomorrow, but I believe by faith I'm expecting God to do exactly what he said he was going to do. He is a man that he should not lie. All of his promises are yes and amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I believe. I'm just going to believe it. I'm going to walk by faith and not by sight. I'm going to walk by believing and not by my feelings, not by my pain. I'm going to walk trusting that he's going to answer me and not by the diagnosis that I received, not by the phone call I received. I believe by faith for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Devil, you are a lie. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for everything that you've already done. We thank you for healing our bodies. We thank you, Father, and give you the glory for, for coming alive in our lives. We thank you for stopping the cancers and, and bringing down the high blood pressure. We thank you, Lord, for removing migraines. We thank you, Lord, for easing the stomach pain and all the, the immune issues that people may have. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for removing anxiety and giving us peace that everything is going to be all right. We thank you, Lord, for, for healing multiple sclerosis. And thank you, Lord, for allowing the chemo uh, to heal. And, and kill the cancer but not destroy the, the the rest of the cells father i thank you in advance lord for healing varicose veins and healing back pain i thank you in advance lord for removing the suffering lord i thank you so much listen if you believe that today you just need to start thanking them you don't have to put it in the chat so lord i thank you just praise them hallelujah Hallelujah. Listen, if I did not mention your illness, it's okay. If you want to put it in the chat right now, I'll screenshot it, but I believe I wrote down or screenshotted everyone's prayers. So let's see. We pray for marriages so far. We pray for our children so far. And then we bind the spirit of sickness, disease, and infirmity this morning. With eight minutes to go, is there anyone else that I missed this morning? Any prayer requests that we did not cover? Is there anything that you'd like to bring up right now? We will continue praying for you. And again, if I missed your prayer earlier in the chat and it did not cover one of those three things, please put it in the chat at this time. And I will screenshot it and we will pray for you. Miranda said, can you please keep me in prayer? My bowels are failing and it could cause death. Devil devil you are a lie come on everyone you spirit of, of death i speak to her colon i speak to the infirmity that has attacked her every fallen angel that's been assigned to her life that's attacking her body you are canceled in this moment i have rank over you we're stronger than you because of jesus christ and this will not end in death come on say it with me everybody Miranda's sickness will not end in death. Speak it. Speak it into the spirit realm so the devils can hear you. Say it again. Miranda's sickness will not end in death. And Father, I'm asking for resurrection power to her organs. Lord, you have to send a miracle. You have to send the Holy Spirit to do a surgery that doctors cannot do. Holy Spirit, what are you waiting for? Come on, help this young lady out and heal and deliver. Father, I'm expecting a, a testimony. Lord, I'm expecting a, a message from Miranda saying that the doctor said it. I, I don't know what happened, but your body is starting to heal on its own. No, that's the power of the Lord. Father, strengthen her faith in you. In Jesus' name. Mary Ellen said, for better opportunities and careers. We didn't pray for jobs, did we? We didn't pray for finances and jobs. With six minutes to go, if you have a need... For improvements on your job or just God to touch your finances, just put something in the chat real quickly. Lord, can my finances, can my job, can my boss. And I will screenshot and write down all these prayers. And I'm just going to go through these last final few prayers. Mary Ellen said better opportunities. Sam Marie said for godly friends and mentors. Shalay said, I feel like I'm being attacked by my children's father's family. Devil, you are a liar. Leave them. Leave her alone. Don't even bother with them, Shalay. In Jesus' name, devil. What? Stop. I cancel you. Every evil spirit that's attacking Shalay, you are dismissed in Jesus' name. And I speak the peace of God. And Shalay, I speak that you stay in the wholeness of God, the discipline of God, to not let that bother you. I don't care what they say, what they do, what accusation, accusations they make. You stand. And after you've done everything else to stand, you stand some more. Put on the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, and you put the sword of the spirit in your hand and you pray the word of God over your life. In Jesus' name. Uh, Miss Saria said, please continue to pray for my relationship with James. In Jesus' name, Lord. That relationship, you know what it is. You know what they need. You know what they desire. Lord, if it's your will for them to grow, continue to bless it. If it's not your will, you already know what I'm going to say. Have your way, Lord. 
Latanya said deliverance from pride and candid what did I miss there in Jesus name you spirit of pride I, I kick you out you're bound you're bound I bind you and I speak humbleness I, I, I speak a, a quiet spirit in Jesus name I speak a calm of the Holy Spirit over your life Shalay, I see that financial Renee said physical clutter taste take it over my life I want it all to be gone I need to, I need energy and discernment in Jesus name Renee I pray that the spirit of the Lord would give you the ambition to just start with a little bit you don't eat an elephant all at once just a little bit at a time Lord I pray that you give her the strength and the mind and the emotional mindset to get in there and tackle that clutter in Jesus name in Jesus name hallelujah Shirley said at this time I'm not speaking with my mother and my sister I, I bind that spirit of bitterness and unforgiveness Shirley you gotta bind it too you can't stand we, we cannot call ourselves Christian if we know people in our lives or are, are hurting or we have an ought so I'm praying for you sister Shirley that the Lord will clear that up clean it up fix it Every unresolved issue, every hurt, pain, every unspoken issue that, that's going on. Father, may bygones be bygones. Lord, may they forgive 70 times 70 times 70 times 70 times 70. In Jesus' name, Lord, kindness and mercy and grace over Shirley, her sister, and her mama. In Jesus' name. Pamela said diabetes. TT, better finances. Shalay said, my finances. Come on, if you have a financial issue, put it in the chat. Ken, my finances, said Felipe. Rick, finances and business. Come on, I'm getting ready to pray over you. Maggie said, job and health. Screenshot. Rebecca said, for my daughter and blessing our finances. Come on, anyone else? I'm screenshotting. I'm writing these things down. Sharia said, my financial situation to prosper. China. Thank you, China. Thank you. We appreciate the prayer. Listen, we're just like you. But don't, we're not special. We, we, we're just like everybody else. We're just the ones facilitating. Uh, this week, we started at 7. Next week, we will start at 6 a.m., Maggie. Had a, a job situation change in hours. And so we're going to pray at, at 6 a.m. starting next week. Father, we pray. Ruth, I see your prayer request screenshot. Father, I pray right now in the name of Yeshua, everyone who's dealing with something financial. Father, their finances is in a situation that it just needs some healing. It needs some help. Father, they need more money in the bank account. They, they need the ability to pay their bills and have a little extra left over. Lord, there's needs in the home, things that need to be done, things they put on the back burner because they do not have the finances. Father, are, are you aware of their situation? Of course you are. Father, do, do you know that it's, it's getting close and, and that it's about to run out? Father, do you know that they're getting notices and the house could possibly be in jeopardy, Father, if you do not step in? Of course, of course you know. So, Father, what, what's, what's to give? Something has to give, Father. We come asking you for help. Come unto me, all you that are laboring, that are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon thee and learn of me. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. Father, you said you would supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory through Christ Jesus. Father, you said that as we give, you give back to us, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Father, I pray for everyone right now who's struggling in the financial area. They're struggling with their bills. They're struggling, Father, with, with just making ends meet, delivering paycheck to paycheck, Father. Things may not be right on the job. They don't see a future on their job. Father, I pray over everyone right now who they just need extra. They need more. I'm asking that a miracle would happen. I'm asking that your favor and your success would be manifesting in their life. I'm asking, Lord, 
that you'd grant them opportunities to, to grow at their jobs. Uh, give them favor with bosses and directors and presidents and supervisors and managers. Lord, I pray that they'd be eligible for bonuses and promotions. I pray, Father, that you would open somebody's up, eyes up to see them. Lord, put them in the right place at the right time with the right people. Lord, for everyone who has a, a, their own business, yeah, we got a few more minutes and we're going to close here. Everyone with their own business, everyone who has their that hustle going, that, that, that LLC, that sole proprietorship, that partnership, Father, send more customers. Send more clients. Send the right clients, the right customers, the right resources in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And I come against the spirit of debt. I come against the spirit of poverty. I come against a, a, a spirit of lack and setback. I come against delay. Come on, say that with me. Bind those spirits because that's what's hindering you. That's what's hindering you. I come against the spirit of poverty. I come against the spirit of lack. I come against a spirit of setback. I come against a poor spirit, a delayed spirit. I come against being late on my bill spirit. I bind you. I bind the paycheck to paycheck spirit. I bind you and I speak enough. I speak just enough. I speak enough to pay my bills and have a little extra in Jesus name. Hallelujah. All right. I felt the Lord this morning. We did it slightly different, but I felt his power moving anyway, as he always does. And if I did not say your prayer, I believe that I screenshotted your prayer request. And I believe by faith that God is in control. You have to believe that, though. You have to believe that everything that's happening in your life is happening for a reason. The Bible says that all things, everything is working in tandem. It's working together for good because you love God and you are called according to his purpose say that out loud so you can hear it in your spirit I am the called of God I'm called because God called me and I'm doing things according to his purpose this is on purpose this is for his purpose this is for his glory I don't understand it I don't see all the reasons why right now but I trust him in Jesus name Miss Joy, I see your prayer request for your husband that he goes to church with you. In Jesus' name, Lord, continue to soften his heart. We prayed over everyone's uh, spouses earlier, but I believe, and I've screenshotted your prayer request, we got to get out of here. Here's what we do. This prayer and all of our prayers will be on YouTube. You can check later today. Give me a couple of hours to, to download it and upload it to YouTube. And you can come back and find this prayer request later. Our previous prayers are on YouTube. All you have to do is go to my profile link. And then there's a little YouTube icon. You click it. You'll see sermons and prayers. I don't ask that you subscribe. You don't have to follow me. I just want you to get closer to God. That's it. That's all we want. Don't need the coins. Don't need the likes. I just want God to be praised and magnified. Lord, we close our prayer today again, thanking you for everybody that's here today. Lord, I thank you for Shirley and China and Isis. I thank you for Gracie and Joshua and Latanya. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in the lives of Sam, Bridget, and Fawn. Lord, I thank you for blessing Riley and Lisa and Yvette. Lord, I thank you for fixing all the issues in our lives and Felipe and Sharia, Heather, and, and Darlene. Lord, I thank you for blessing Stacy and Brian, Lord, I thank you for blessing Haley and Cher. Lord, I thank you for all you're doing in Rance, Lisa, and Shalay's lives. Lord, I thank you for blessing Angela and Sherelle and Rebecca. Lord, I thank you for the peace that you're giving Maggie and Miss Haskins and Dale. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in TT's life and Valela's life and Faith's life. Father, I thank you for your spirit moving in Tavino's life and Iris's life and Top 10's life. Lord, I thank you for Kitty and Melly, Terry, Myrtle, and Crystal. And may you bless everyone exceedingly abundantly above and beyond anything they can ask or think. In Jesus' name we pray. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. We'll see you here tomorrow at 7 a.m. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.